as our example of prayer. Because victorious Christians are those who are prayerful. Number four, that we look to Jesus as our example of overcoming temptations and sufferings. Another one, we look to Jesus as our source of strength, love, grace, mercy, and help. Eternal life is the only thing that we are hoping for. Why we are here together, why we are serving the Lord, why we have to endure trials, and why we have to resist temptations. It is only because of eternal life. Praise the Lord, and to God be the glory. Amen. Were you blessed? Yes. Were you blessed? Yes. Oh, what a word to my heart. There is one thing that will last. Eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And let's take the wound of our dear sister Emma very seriously. It is not those who start the race. It is those who finish the race. It is better you start slowly and finish victoriously. And this race is not about the show. It is a race run in faith and perseverance. That's all that matters. Faith fixed on Jesus. Amen? And perseverance in overcoming the temptations that befall us every day. I pray that we will wake up one day and we will see that crown ahead of us. And the Bible says there are so many witnesses cheering us. Paul, Peter, all the Christians who have lifted and struggled and have died and saying, come on, keep on walking. Get up. Let's keep on going. Amen. Hallelujah. I think that I will. I, I don't want to add to what Emma said, but on Wednesday when I was talking to this, having this interview with this fortune teller, you know, she said to me, Ahmed, maybe one day you will believe in me. <laughs> I said to her, Why? She said because. You already changed your religion from Muslim to be a Christian. So maybe next time you will believe you will change your religion from being a Christian to believe in me. I said to her, you're lying. Only time will tell. I said, you know what? When you have found food, do you go back to vomit? I said, I have found food. And vomit stinks. It's something to be cleaned and thrown away. I said, I will not say never because I can convince you, but I have found Jesus. Amen? Anyone who comes to you, I said to her, does not have faith in God. She said, She said, I have faith in God and the Madonna. I said, Anyone who comes to you as a fortune teller, does not have faith in God. Why? Because He is our provider. Because He is our healer. I might not have the healing today. I might not have the healing tomorrow. But there is one thing I know. That God is my healer. Why? Because the Bible has said, by His stripes, we are healed. Yes. So, what do I need a fortune teller for? Thank you, Emma. We are on the path of victory already. Let's live it. Amen? Amen. Just do it. 
May the Lord bless you today for coming to our service. May this time that we spend together be meaningful. I was talking to a clear the other day, I said to him, actually you have a tendency to panic. You should see actually when things go wrong. Pastor! 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 I tell you, calm down. You know, the world is falling apart, but God is in control, you know? Take it easy. And, and then the next week, then, Pastor. And I say, Tell me the good news. You know, when he says, Pastor, I know that it's, it's okay. <laughs> Pastor! Yeah, I say, Oh, what happened this time, you know? Uh, but, but it's so good just to see how people react when things go wrong, you know? And sometimes God makes things go wrong or allows things to go wrong so that we will learn to trust Him. We would learn to just hold on Him and trust Him. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Amen? Amen. If God is for us, who can be against us? The only way the devil can get you is to deceive you. Is to put this five euro in your face and tell you, if you worship me, I will give you five million. And you go, give me five million. Give me five million. Doesn't care what you're saying in church. Take out your offering. Let us give.